Welcome back to the channel. We are going to try again. Uh, the other day we come over here and as you can look at, look at all this, we started working on it. And while we were in the middle of working on it, it came an absolute monsoon rain. It thundered on us and then like 20 seconds later, it was pouring buckets out of the sky. And uh, anyway, within a matter of 30, uh, about 30 hours, we got seven inches of rain. So this is still pretty muddy and mucky over here, but we're going to see if we can mess with it tonight and uh, uh, just spend a couple of hours out here cleaning up. And if nothing else, we're going to take this big pile over here behind me and we're going to uh, carry it around to the burn part. Tony Stratcher Adventure. If I can rip some of these roots out. Oh, got one. Let's see what we got going on here. Well, missed it. So what I'm doing, I'm learning how to take the grapple and kind of put the teeth aiming down and then get up under these smaller little trees and the loader curl function is so strong, I can just kind of roll it back and it pick, pops some little roots right out of the ground. So just kind of aim it down Roll it out. Got a big ball of roots there, didn't we? By the way, uh, I got a longer, I got longer hoses, so I can go all the way down now. If I can pop this little tree out here. Throttle up there a little bit, get a little more hydraulic. Oh yes, yeah, it's, it's moving. Keep wiggling it back and forth. I think we'll get that one out. Looks like a break of root. But it's, every time I touch it, it's a little, little more movement in it. Oh, there she went. Wow, that's, that crap was strong now. Oh, I missed it. They're bragging. Get Hank Hamilton over here and show me how to run this thing. Hey, if you guys don't watch Hank Hamilton's channel, it's Hamilton Bill Farm, and uh, he's got a great uh, channel. Uh, and I'm glad to call him friend. See if we can get this thing out here out of our neighbor's yard without destroying his yard. Uh oh, uh oh, got in some mud. the root. Alright, we'll 
we're gonna do now is use some of that advice. We're gonna rotate it all the way back. Let it drag across the ground. Try to pick up the stuff. Just had a stick going in my ear. Now is I'm going to do this is a bigger tree. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can kind of rotate this up under these roots and see if I can pop them out. I've been having a lot of luck here with just rotating these teeth up onto the roots and popping the roots on these smaller trees. This is a little bit bigger tree, so we'll see what happens. The other thing is is when the front of the uh, grapple is out. It, it kind of, I have to push it with the grapple and I don't want to put a lot of strain on my hydraulics. So let me close the grapple and just see if I can push this tree over first so I can get a better bite at it. So it's pushing against those other trees too. Let me get one at a time. To, that way I'm trying to push down two or three trees at the same time. There we go. We'll do one at a time. That looks... I'm not really sure what that is. If I'm going to start running a sawmill, I'm going to have to learn my trees a little better. All right, let's see if we can dig this dude out now. hang one root at a time. Now I could get a better bite if I went to the other side, but I don't want to get on my neighbor's yard and tear his grass up. I'm sure he wouldn't mind, but I got a big ball of roots in. But I don't want to tear his yard up, just the same. on my, my loader that way. Oh. I think I'll have to bring the back hole for that one. I gotta try this. I'm gonna put the forklift on it or the forklift on it and see what it can do. If I can just push it through, the tractor weighs a lot, lot more than the uh, 264. I know I could have got it out with 264 if I just kept messing with it, but. I guess it 
Yep, I put it low range. across here, digging them roots out. Mucky muddy over here. It's almost too wet to work. I'm going to reach up here by Tanya. She's over here shooting the camera to see if I can get this away from her without. There we go. Look at there. I have no idea what that little tree is. All right, this could be a bad idea. some pretty big stuff. Turned off fast enough. Running 20, uh, a five foot tiller on a 24.8 horsepower tractor is a lot for this size horsepower. Uh, this thing has about 19, 20 horsepower to PTO. Maybe 21, I can't remember exactly. That's like one. 
but uh, it's still asking a whole lot for this tractor. Especially doing stupid stuff like this. Right. I got this kind of cleaned up. I really need to work on it some more and get out some of the little roots and stuff. But the ground is just the more I work it, the it's like I'm mucking the water up and it's getting a lot, uh, a lot wetter. So what I'm going to do now is take in this big giant pile here of brush uh, and I want to take it in little bites as, that I can and carry it around to the other side of the property and we'll, we're going to make a big burn pile on the other side of the property. All right, this dirt and roots and all together is pretty daggum heavy. So we're going to take it, we're going to do, we're going to eat it like we would eat a well, one bite at a time. Too much. Got, I got that big tree in there somehow. All right, got that. Got that separated now. This is going to work. I'm trying not to tear my yard up any more than I have to. I ain't doing no good. Let's try it like this. Ain't a big old sign up here that says rookie. Not bad. Let's take that. Hey, we're gonna go ahead and do a few more loads tonight. It's the 4th of July and it's about 7.30. We're gonna go watch some fireworks tonight. I really appreciate you watching the channel. And if you like what we do, if you like this crazy stuff we do, hit that thumbs up that lets the Google algorithm, algorithm that's my Southern, know that uh, uh, you like what we do. Also hit the subscribe button and the little bell. The little bell will let you know when we put out something new. Now, I, I want you to watch the first part. This is part two. I'll leave a, a link in the description and I'll also, uh, at the end of this video, there'll be a, it'll pop up and show you part one. God bless and have a great day and have a wonderful Independence Day. Be safe out there.